In the last episode, we've started to add um, various herbivores to the uh, biomes we had. So let's see how that turned out and let's play Tito Ecology. Also, um, I have recently started putting ads on some videos. Uh, I figured I should say that right now because I wanted to get that out before anybody complains. <laughs> Which was uh, mostly an act of desperation because I had a, a bit of uh, financial trouble. I still have, but it, it's fine for so far. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe it helps. Probably not, but I figured why the hell not. Uh, also, the Halloween special mark is a bit of a negative milestone for me because it's the first video I know of uh, that immediately got more dislikes than likes. Well, it's one dislike, but it got disliked, and uh, there are no likes on it, so. Um, it's, it's a bit of a negative milestone. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure there, there are older videos that have the same. And yeah, this achievement is blatantly lying. <laughs> As we clearly get more than uh, a one, one year achievement. Anyway, um, on the bright side, it seems that the ocelots here uh, have not managed to eradicate everything. So that's good. <coughs> the agouti will probably make it. Those will definitely make it. Those might be eradicated. Those <coughs> are doing well as well. The Amazon flame tree should not have any trouble reproducing there. As should that one. What else is currently flowering in this biome? We have those... Uh, palm trees, which are still not really harvested or not really used up anymore. <laughs> uh, the papaya is about to bloom soon. So next time we... Uh, oh, look at that. This palm has been uh, partially eaten. That's good. By something. Alright, we also have the, those moths, which are having a bit of trouble with the uh, local armadillo population. That has not touched the millipedes. However, we might want to add more moths or something else. Let's add some more folks here. Not right there, but over here. Okay, I'm also really tempted to add frogs. Let's put them in here. I'm going to regret that. I'm pretty sure I'm going to regret that, but let's, let's have some frogs in there. <coughs> I'm not sure if this uh, section here is doing okay with... Um, with flower, uh, with plant life, but I, I suppose they might. I mean, they, they have this wonderful flowering uh, palm tree, which is apparently completely ignored in favor of, uh, I don't know, ferns and uh, not so nutritious other plants. Anyway, let's check the fish population quickly. I think last time we were at 40, so now we're at 43. I'm not sure how many of them have been hunted so far. Okay, aside of that, this biome seems to be doing reasonably well, so we might in fact look at expanding it. So let's add another zone here. <coughs> Currently there is no life in here, which is something I'm going to change. First off, let's go with the uh, usual suspects again. We need some decomposers, some anthills. It's terribly leggy right now, but I don't know why that is, but it is. Okay, that. And some millipedes over here. And mushrooms all over the place. I know that's quite a lot of uh, decomposers, but I figure why not? I mean, they are also a uh, base source of nutrition, so it helps to have them around. We'll also start adding some of those pollinators here. <coughs> okay, we're out of energy here. So far for that. Which means next time we might actually have something else growing here. Let me just uh, check something quickly. I want my plants. It seems like we have everything, at least in some instances. We only have one strangler fig and three zebra plants, so those are not that prolific. One orchard as well, so those might need to be moved to a more um, remote location for now. 
for example over here next time we enter this so those are relatively safe from all the um, herbivores oh look at that the strangler fig will also bloom very soon so we might soonish have strangler figs also let's look at those flowers for a moment can i go down? Yeah. there we go those are strangler fig blossoms in uh, all their low definition glory okay i think that's enough for the uh, rainforest i don't want to wait for more energy here so let's just save that and move out we had some notifications i totally forgot to click those <laughs> no idea what they were saying okay we've passed one year in here and i think something um i think in the desert biome that's something i did off camera uh, only one one small bit I said does it already the Himalayan bio I set the time away to either half a year or three months so that's that was something that I realized I, I should have done after the uh, last recording like right after I hit the uh, stop recording button so <coughs> yeah it's it's just not in uh, there but it's something I did and uh, I figured I could tell you now okay we have a lot of milk veg in here it's basically, thank you, overrunning the uh, biome. <laughs> and right now we have a lot of things we could do. Um, first off, we could, in fact, unleash some, some rabbits or stuff. Let's do that, in fact. I wonder if it's a good time to do that. Uh, do we have rabbits in here? We have, okay. Yeah, let's let's unleash the jackrabbit over here. I like to place frogs near the water, so let's put some frogs over here. Uh, we'll have to set the time away to a bit less, though. Let's put the mice in here. Okay, those need 23 weeks, those need 12 weeks. So we will set this to 6 months. And next time we'll have to add rattlesnakes right in here. Otherwise there is an insect here might not make it. Also, the DMRs was a bit bugged before. It, um, it just wouldn't really be an herbivore, it would just, cons it would just eat insects and nothing else so that was a bit <laughs> troubling well, let's put an ant hill in here just to be safe and maybe some more earthworms and some mushrooms because why the hell not okay so next up we'll put oh we have put some jackrabbits in there so that's good uh, let's let's put in more herbivores we need more of those Maybe some prairie dogs as well. Those would, I suppose, prefer one of those. I actually saw a video once uh, about prairie dogs saying that they tend to build their their lairs or their, their burrows so that you have one exit over here and one exit down here. So the, the wind would actually like act as an air conditioner for the entire thing. It was uh, kind of amazing. Very, very interesting to see. Okay, yeah, we'll... Well, those need an entire year to reproduce, so we'll see how those go. Uh, do I have anything else I want to place here? Some sagebrush. Um, I think I want to place a sand cherry in here just to be perfectly safe. Uh, Western sand cherry, why the hell not? Right in there. Is it right? It's not pollinated. Or it's not it's not flowering yet. Again, okay, since we have 500 coins, I'm tempted to just expand this biome as well. A fourth zone it is. We have plenty of coins and we, we might get more as uh, we seem to be showered in achievements every time we open the game. Although this is going to be a rather quick uh, run in here. We'll just play some dash rewards and that's it. Some more mushrooms over here. And can I afford an earthworm? No. 
I'll have to wait a few minutes, or well, not minutes, a few seconds. I'm going to fast forward for now. That was also something I'd used to uh, make animals back out a bit. Uh, we'll put them over here. Okay. So that is uh, sorted out. Next time we'll expand in that direction. We might even see some plant life spreading that way. When we have pollination going on in here, and uh, a quick note about the way that plants spread. Uh, plants that have fruits, so fruit plants, <coughs> will benefit from having animals eating their fruit and dispersing the seeds. But as far as I know, the uh, radius of the animal that's eating the uh, thing does not have anything to do with it. Uh, so the uh, new plants are more spawned in a radius around the original plant than in the radius of the animal that has eaten the plant and thus uh, helped it to uh, spread its seed. Although I believe those uh, radii might be uh, intersecting or actually uh, parts of each other. Anyway, enough, for, enough of that biome. Okay, I set this to six months. Let's go back now. Make sure this is set to six months, because I don't want to wait an entire year. If you do that, <coughs> although they, they turned down the uh, reproduction of those uh, small animals I placed in uh, near the lake, like the, the mice and the frog. Uh, if I go down... Wait a minute. Uh, if I just um, skip a year, we might actually already have them out of hand, and there's this literally no way to fix that. You can't really uh, remove a species. Once it is there, it is there and uh, out of our control. Which really, I believe, suits nature quite well. Anyway, let's uh, check that biome. We've got notification sounds, and those are never good, mind you. Notification sounds are never a good thing for you. Yeah, deer mice are low in population. That would be that group over there, <coughs> which seems to be. Yeah, they are indeed low on population. However, the uh, desert can. Oh wow, though. I have. Let's let's check that. Uh, we haven't done that in a while. Actually, we have. Okay, right now I'm a bit lost. As I, I know it has been somewhere here, but. I'm not sure if I can still see it. I don't think I can. Okay, uh, let's do something about that quickly. Apparently those deer mice are still more along the lines of insectivores than anything else. So they've been munching on those millipedes and uh, not on the honeybees or the uh, marine blue butterflies, but on the uh, things, on the uh, millipedes. Yeah, that's a bit of a bug actually. At least I believe it's a bug. We'll also place some more of those uh, rodents. The rabbits have not been touched that far. And it's about time to get them more rattlesnakes on there. Actually, no. That might work out in, in our favor. However, I'm still going to not do that. I'm going to add more rodents here. Deer mouse over there. Uh, no, wait, over here. Mm, yeah, hopefully it works. And uh, a kangaroo rat over there. In the hopes that those don't completely obliterate the uh, environment. Okay, the saguaro is uh, fruiting, actually. How do those fruits look? Oh, pretty interesting. I suppose those are the fruits. I've never seen a saguaro cactus, like in, in real. I mean, cacti aren't the native species to Germany. Are those fruiting as well? They are, and for some reason um, the rabbits haven't eaten the- oh my god! <coughs> Look at that! 38 juveniles, and we have only 7 weeks until they reproduce again. Well, I wish I could actually leave those, uh... No, I have a rattlesnake here. Which is... or a rattlesnake population, rather than no, a coral snake. 
And those are small, all right? Uh, extra small, okay. <coughs> well, we do have too many joint fills anyway. So I'm tempted to wait with adding a bigger predator here. A possible choice would be a bobcat. <coughs> Sorry about that. My voice is a bit parched here. I'm going to drink something quickly. Well, I'm looking for the... Yeah, we can have bobcats in here. <coughs> okay. Sorry about that. Luckily, they don't touch the mushrooms. But yeah, I would prefer those rabbits to actually eat fruit. And I think that that's actually said that animals would prefer fruit over most other things. Right now, they don't seem to have touched those and have indeed munched on joint fur. Which is fine. I mean, the stuff is abundant, but I'd still prefer them to help the fruit to actually uh, grow and uh, get me more fruit plants. Oh, well, if it's not eaten, it's fine as well, I guess. Do those have fruit? Yes. We have a lot of those uh, Joshua trees. How long do those need to... Uh, oh, wow. Two thousand... Oh, we'll probably not see those grow at, uh, to maturity in any way, shape or form. The same with those fruit. They have not been touched by the uh, tortoises. They have indeed gone for something else, apparently. Oh, maybe for those fruits. Okay, it's fine. I guess that biome is doing fine. We will, however, try to expand it a bit. Nothing has touched the fish population yet, because why would it? Okay, close that. Go data tool and unlock zone 4. Actually, do I want that? Do I really want to unlock zone 4? No, I don't. I would prefer to keep those coins for the next biome, so we can finish that off. And instead just add some more life forms in here. How about a burrowing owl? How are those doing? They have 11 juveniles. Yeah, that has been turned down a lot. Um, in the old way they would have like around 40 juveniles by now and there's just no way you can sort that out. Oi, that was creepy. Let's put, it, let's put in some burrowing owls. We should still have enough coins, so let's add those here. Right where they can eat everything. There we go. The burrowing owl. The only bird currently in the game. Okay. So those will hopefully help with the rabbit problem. Otherwise, we still have enough um, enough plants here to, to sustain even a large rabbit population. But I'm, I'm really not sure how long this will be the case. Okay, I also have to check the Biodex page at some point. Let's actually do that now. No, it's not. let's not do that now. I'm already having the feeling that I've been doing this episode for way too long. And even though I actually uh, reactivated my old phone, I have no idea how I'm doing on time, because I decided not to uh, set up a countdown. Also, just to be on the safe side, let's add some more plants over here. Only a few. Maybe a beaver tail cactus and a barrel cactus. That'll do. Right, let's leave that biome and move on to the final one for this episode, as usual. The Himalayan biome. Also, a quick side note on the uh, Halloween video. I realized when I watched it that it was somewhat artifacty, and I apologize for that. Um, I just wanted to get it uh, up and running, so I had a Halloween special going, and I probably shouldn't have done that. I apologize. I will not tear the video down, because it is up there, and I don't think there's much of a point in tearing it down. The uh, four people who watched it probably thought the same. <laughs> I mean, they can't unsee it. And, um, yeah, I hope to actually get better video qualities up again. That's the only time that happened, really, lately. That was kind of weird. Also, the burrowing owl is one of the smallest owl species in the world. It didn't look that small to me. 
Okay, a group of Pikas has split. That is actually one of the very few positive uh, announcements you can get. Look at that, all the greenery here. Uh, yeah, they have split. And as you can see, they uh, kind of went for the uh, radius. They also split the juveniles among them. And if I see that correctly, yeah, thank you, they will split again pretty soon. I mean, look at that. This group is almost full, and I suppose one of those juveniles will reach maturity soon-ish. Same here, so those will probably split again soon. We are also having the Himalayan honeysuckle uh, in full bloom. Not, not bl full bloom, full fruiting. That's an alteration. And uh, a little forest is doing well over here as well. I think those need to be a bit turned up. Like 15 leaves are next to nothing, and if you, especially if you have bigger um, herbivores in here, those will just eat that thing in one bite. So I think trees should have more young trees should have more leaves pretty soon. So they're not just uh, always eaten, and uh, you end up with the uh, senior cedars. Is that even a word? Oh, well, with the with the old plants, yeah. Also, let's uh, let's use some energy quickly because I believe there is an achievement for unlocking everything in a biome, or for unlocking the entire biome, or the entire biodome, if you will. So let's put some grass and some poppies. I think Biodex has those blue poppies are not actually poppy species; they're just uh, something that that looks like a poppy but isn't one. Maybe it was called that way by the uh, uh, people who first exp uh, discovered them. So who knows? Although discovering is is always a, a bit of a weird word. I mean, you, you had those. Uh, uh, you usually had natives and, and such who knew about the existence of those plants and who named them way before anybody from the West did. And it's always, I don't know, it, it just strikes me as weird to, to see that people say, yeah, I discovered that, when they really didn't discover it. It was there all along, and it was known all along, way before they discovered it. Okay, this, and... Uh, I plan to have a bit of forest here, so let's put some, some banji oaks there, and maybe more of them. Um, we need more trees. I would definitely like more trees. Also, let's have a bit of a goji uh, cluster in there. It's always nice to have more than one source of food available to an animal. Although I don't think they, they pick it kind of smart. Like, they, they don't pick what would be suitable most right now. They just go with a random thing. Okay, yeah, we got uh, basically an energy refill, so that's great. Everything the light touches is ours. So I could have wasted more energy here. Okay, Himalayan birch and a birch and some wood apples. One over here. And one over there. That'll do. Maybe some rhododendron. That's basically a tree, so we'll have one here. And maybe on that side. Okay, what else do I need? I have banji oaks, I have maiden... I don't need ferns in here. This is a forest. Wood apples, oh, cedars, yeah. We can only afford one for now, so let's do that. Put it in here. And the forest is sorted out. Yeah, we can ignore that. We don't need that achievement. So right now, we, we can actually go this way now. So, yeah, this zone will soon-ish be inhabited. It will probably not be inhabited too well. And we also have a lot of... Uh, why are you herbivores hungry? You shouldn't be. There is plenty of stuff to eat for you. We have those lovely, lovely, lovely uh, fruits. We have... Uh, marmots you can eat if you want. We have uh, birches. Oh, yeah, it seems like they, they sorted it out. Not sure what they uh, ended up eating. 
I guess it was a joint fur as opposed to those wonderful fruits that are all over the place and readily available. Oh well, I can't help it. Also it seems this, this tree has been ravaged even further. <laughs> Not to my liking, but I can't change anything about it. And okay, I think that's all for this episode. I mean, I suppose it is way too long anyway, but I'm going to upload it tomorrow, so it's up on Friday, and you can all enjoy it if you do so. Um, feel free to leave a comment. I'm also soon out of pre-recorded episodes of Seven Kingdoms 2. Uh, I think I recorded about 15 or 16 in one session, and uh, or two sessions. I, I really had a lot of fun with the campaign, and uh, yeah, it's still going on, so it, it, the campaign won't end, but it's... Uh, I just felt like I should record more because I was really in the mood for it and uh, it's one of those games that I can confidently say I'm likely to win the campaign. <laughs> Unlike Heroes of Might Magic 2. I completed the campaign once way back in the day but it's it's been quite difficult at some points and we are at the or near the end of the light campaign. I haven't touched the game in ages. I'm, I'm really tempted to, to go back to it. <coughs> but then again I need to finish my essay this week so... Uh, I'll probably get back to recording next week-ish, although work is going to be a bit more stressful now. Mostly because it's uh, they have a huge project that I need to work on, or that I am supposed to help with. And uh, on the bright side, that means a lot of money for me because it's I can get in 40-hour weeks, which means well, I have to be paid 40 hours a week uh, for 40 hours a week. So that is fine. On the other hand, working for eight hours a day means that you really don't have that much uh, desire to work even more on your study-related stuff. So that's uh, a bit of a downer. Oh, I'm going to try and, and sort things out now. And uh, yeah, next time we'll probably start putting in more creatures. We're going to add I don't know what we're going to add uh, probably yeah, everything so this this place will be expanded we'll probably also have to add predators in here how much time this okay six months so yeah I'm still not sure what what this biodome is all about I don't know why it is there <laughs> I'm quite sure I didn't play I didn't make it but I might have unknowingly I don't know now I'm going to probably delete that soon because there's one more thing that I want to do as kind of a late game thing when we have a lot of coins because this is just one thing that has always interested me and uh, yeah anyway I'll see you next week bye